Hey everybody, Ogre here again for Ogre Breaks, doing a little box opening. I got one of the hobby boxes of Stadium Club Chrome 2021 Baseball. Uh, we will find one autograph in the box. Um, hopefully, I'm hoping it's, you know, a rookie. Would love it to be not a pitcher, but, you know, we'll see what happens. Um, 14 packs per box, 6 cards per pack. So, I'm looking forward to opening this. I'm a big fan of... Tops Chrome Baseball. Stadium Club, I will admit, I do like. Uh, I like the pictures that they use. Um, just they're they're very, very nice pictures, usually with you know either backdrops of like the stadium and stuff like that. So I'm looking forward to opening this. I was able to get uh, two boxes of this off the Tops website. Uh, I will be featuring one of these in a break uh, this weekend. So if you're interested in getting into a break with this, and I believe I'm going to match it up with... Um, uh, the, the regular stadium club, um, you know, follow me on Instagram and, uh, you know, I'll have all the details on the break, uh, right on there. So, um, you know, if that's something that you guys are interested in, you know, appreciate if you follow me on Instagram and then you'll have all the, uh, the most, uh, up-to-date list on, uh, any of my breaks that I have going on. <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh, definitely excited to open this up, uh, $99. Or $100, I think it was, uh, was the uh, the price on this. Uh, and then, you know, there was shipping tax. I think it came out to, like, after everything, I think it came out to, uh, I think it was like $110 per box, basically. So, um, so hopefully, like I said, hopefully we can have a nice, I'm hoping for at least, you know, nice autograph. Hoping to pull at least a couple of decent rookies and, you know, see what happens. So... All right, let's get into it. Start off with Lou Gehrig. Dylan Cease. Looks like a little print line down the middle. Ryan Jeffers, rookie card. Eduardo Valera's rookie card. And I hope that's not the... No, nah, this can't be the autograph, I don't think, right? Uh, Jose Ramirez. Um... Trying to see, yeah, no, I don't know. Um, you know, just regular home Jose Ramirez, and then Mike Trout beam team, so not a bad pull there. Mike Trout finally gets a little bit of pitching help with them signing uh, Syndergaard, so not a bad little pack first there. Trying to see why the card was turned around because usually they have, um, you know, a you know potentially the card's usually numbered, not numbered. Um, and then sometimes the, the name is a different color, but I'm not seeing anything on there the unless it's a, unless it's an image variation, which uh, I'm not too sure. Let's see, 83. All the other cards, 83. Yeah, not too sure. Anyway, all right, so next pack. I don't know, I'll have to look it up later on after the video. We got Verlander. Uh, Rafael Marchan, Ryu, Will Myers, and then Kevin Gossman, and Max Muncy. Yeah, because usually... Okay, so yeah, the last card is so the Muncy is a refractor. So it looks like, you know, you'll probably get like one uh, refractor or insert, most likely, uh, per pack. Campanella, Pookie Betts. Luke Riley, Julian Merriweather, and then we do get a Frank Thomas. Cool looking card. I was always a big, I was always a fan of the Big Hurt. And then Christian Yelich, uh, throwback. So that's not too bad there. And a little throwback Christian Yelich. Let's put Shroud up here for now. Like I said, hopefully I can pull, you know, if I can pull two or three you know, rookies, you know, that I'm personally collecting. I, I'll be happy with that for sure. Trent Grisham, Josh Fleming, Nico Goodrum, Andrew Young. And then we do get a Luke Voigt. And Beam Team, Christian Pache. So, okay, not a bad rookie card there. I think, uh, I'm, look, I'm hoping to see maybe he has, hopefully he has a bounce back season next year. He, I mean, not that it was horrendous, but... Um, I know he's more of a, uh, a, f uh, a fielder than uh, a bat, so. Okay, we got Andrew Benatendi. We got Devin Williams. Didi. 
uh, Mitch White rookie card. And then we do get a Tyler Stevenson. And okay. All right, first Tyler Stevenson rookie card that I personally like. He's a kind of a guy that eh, I'm kind of like minor PCing, we'll say. Then we do get a, a Cabrian Hayes insert. Roll Licking Rookie. Kind of card. Uh, kind of cool. You know, like a, um, you know, like a magical ball. You know, like a fortune teller kind of thing. Um, cool looking, cool looking card though, in my opinion. I think uh, I think Cabrian Hayes will have a, a decent career. I think next year he should have a, you know, pretty really good year. I think. But Anderson Tata, uh, Jose Devers, Bo Jackson. Paul Goldschmidt, then we get Jesse Winkler, and then Manny Machado, Refractor. Okay, next pack. We got Ian Anderson, rookie card. Okay, Sixto Sanchez, rookie. All right, Ryan Castellini. Then we get Yerman Mercedes. Then we get Bob Gibson. Oh, cool looking uh, Hall of Fame card. And then we do get the Acuna. Uh, yeah, nice Acuna throwback. Nice card. Still a shame that he got hurt this year. It's nice that he'll, it's nice that he got a ring, but would love to actually see him uh, play in the postseason. But you know, he's definitely one of those players, in my opinion, that deserves. Uh, Deserves a ring. Actually, let me just sleeve these up real quickly, actually. So, you know, Sixto Sanchez, you know, hopefully, you know, he has a bounce back year. Ian Anderson, he's had a decent uh, start to his career. So, already a World Series under his belt as, as well. For those Atlanta Braves. We got Salvi. All right, Jay Cronenworth. Okay. Evan Longoria. All right, Dylan Carlson, definitely one of the rookies I'm looking for. We got a Cedric Mullins and Alec Bohm, numbered four out of twenty-five. Very nice, very nice, Alec Bohm. The little orange uh, refractor, so to say. Yeah, bring uh, bring uh, Pache down, but Cronenworth. Nice little rookie for sure. Yeah, a little bit of an older rookie, but still had a decent year. Carlson, I think uh, he's going to be a very good player for the Cardinals going uh, forward. So definitely happy to pull at least a base card of his. Would be nice if we could pull a little something else of his, but still. All right, next pack. Got Jordan Weeks. Or Weems, excuse me, Weems, actually. Lucas Giolito, TJ Antone, Jorge Mato, then Tony Gwynn, one of the best contact hitters ever. Guy barely struck out. And then, all right, Jeter, throwback. Nice card. So still looking for auto. Haven't come across it yet. I don't know why, but this one feels a hair thicker. All right, we got Garrett Cole. Then we got Cal Ripken Jr., Christian Yelich, Loris Goriel. Then we got JT Rilamuto, and Juan Soto Beam Team. So, not too bad. Another very exciting player in the league. Just, uh, I'm not too sure what to expect out of the Nationals in the, in the near future. I mean, I think down the road they'll have a great team with some of the, the prospects that they've gotten, uh, especially uh, Cuba Ruiz, but... Uh, I don't know what to expect for the Nationals for maybe the next maybe two seasons or so. So, Yuri Gurriel, James Karanchik. Then we got Alberto Mondesi. We got Max Muncy. We got 
Isaac Perez, rookie card, not, not horrible. And virtual reality, Freddie Freeman insert. So we'll see if he resigns with the Braves after winning the title. I know, I think, uh, what was it? He's looking for six years, 200 million. I think the Braves offered him, what was it, 535, I think. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. Matt Olson. And we got Luis Capasuano. Marco Gonzalez, and all right, our autograph, I believe, is in this pack, so let's put this one down, save it for last. We got Ichiro, Zach Wheeler, we got uh, Mama Largers, Brent Rooker, Kirby Puckett. And all right, Joe Adele flashback. Very nice. So I think he, I think uh, Anaheim is going to be. Uh, this should be uh, fun to watch uh, in the near future. I think. I'm hoping. I'd love to see Trout get a World Series title. We've got Tristan McKenzie, Doctor Sticks, Jesus Lazardo. Oh, in a Miami uniform. I think that's the first card I've seen of him in the Miami uniform. Nico Horner, Randy Rosarena. Oh, that's a that's a great picture. Those are the kind of pictures I like when it comes to um, um, uh, Stadium Club. Marcus Semyon, and then Roy Campanella, Refractor. Then, all right. So this pack has our auto. Looks like next card will be the auto. We got Max Kepler, uh, Refractor. We got a Chris Bassett. And oh, we got an Astro. Could we get uh, Rookie of the Year runner-up Garcia? Nope, Christian Javier, actually. So, okay. little on-card auto. Not numbered, but, uh, you know, luckily it was a pitch, or it was a rookie auto, but, um, you know, pitcher auto. You know, he had a decent uh, 2020. I don't honestly recall his stats for this year if, he did okay or not i would I, actually i'd be honest with you i'd have to look it up because i don't really follow too much houston baseball uh obviously i watched a lot of them in the postseason but um but still but overall i'm pretty happy with the box overall um got a couple of the rookies that i kind of wanted to pull i wouldn't love to pull a jazz but that's okay um did get a tyler stevenson which is kind of a fan favorite of mine um, did get the Adele flashback, so I'm happy about that for sure. We did get a Jeter flashback as well, so, you know, awesome card, you know, a little action photo to it. Um, you know, beam team, Juan Soto. Uh, we did get a Carlson base, Christian Pache beam team. We did get a Mike Trout beam team as well. Uh, Cunha, uh, throw, uh, throwback, uh, you know, Christian Javier, not the best rookie card to pull, but that's okay. We did get the Brian Hayes insert, so I'm happy about that one for sure. I think he's going to be a special player, but, you know, probably the best hit. Um, Alec Bohm, you know, 4 out of 25. Would have been beautiful if that was our auto, but uh, unfortunately, you know, just a low-numbered card, but still a nice low-numbered card to get, you know, especially anything you get in that 25 or lower range I'm always really happy with. So, uh, so with that, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked what you saw, greatly appreciate if you subscribe, hit that notification bell for any of my future uploads. And if you like, if you liked the video too, please leave a like on the video as well. Uh, leave any comments on Tops uh, Stadium Club Chrome. Uh, let me know if you're picking it up, you're passing on it. One of those things you kind of open a box of, or you know, just whatever. I know last year they had a retail version. It said like hobby only, I think. Yeah, it's a hobby only product. So I don't know if they're going to be doing a retail version of this last year. I was able to get my hands on a little bit of it last year, retail wise. I didn't open up too much of it. Um, but so we'll see if that is the case, if it's just a hobby only. But, you know, we'll see down the road. Um, but with that, and then also, too, I'm going to be featuring one of these in a breaks uh, probably Saturday night. So if you're interested in getting into any of my breaks, please follow me on Instagram, Ogre Breaks. And, uh, you know, you can find all the information on my latest uh, breaks that I have currently up. So with that, thanks again for watching. Have a great night.